don't click off this video or you might miss out on your chance to win a free Husqvarna chainsaw. Hey neighbors, welcome to the shed shop. I'm the chainsaw redeemer and that's right, I'm giving this chainsaw away. If you do not already follow the channel, are not a subscriber, or are not aware of this story, uh, stick around and I'm going to tell you all about it because I'm giving this away absolutely free. Okay, and all you have to do to qualify is click on the link down in this description below for the first video that started this giveaway. It will also be the pinned comment. Okay, follow the three simple steps in that video. And then if you do, you'll be qualified. You'll be entered and you'll have one entry. Next, what you'll do is I'll have a second video link in the description down below labeled instruction video. You can also watch that video and that video will tell you exactly what you can do or have to do or should do to win more <laughs> entries into the fishbowl drawing to win this chainsaw. Okay. And in that video, we explain a couple things that you have to be 18. Okay. To win a chainsaw. And if you're not 18 and want to win a chainsaw, mom and dad have to claim it for you. So sorry. Okay. You can play along, but mom and dad have to claim it. It has to be somebody that's 18 years or older. Okay. Uh, also to get the free shipping, which means you'll get the chainsaw 100% free. Uh, there's no, no taxes, anything like that. I'm covering all the costs, all the taxes, everything neighbors. Uh, if you live in the lower 48 of the United States, if you live in Alaska or Hawaii, you will have to pay the shipping. If you live anywhere outside of the United States, you'll have to pay the customs too. And I have no idea how much that would cost. But if you're willing to go through the process and figure out all the paperwork and pay the cost, I will help you with it if you want to qualify and if you want to be entered into the drawing. And so essentially at the end of all of this process, we will take a, a, a fishbowl or maybe that hard hat or maybe a, a, a crankcase. Who knows? We'll do something. And we're going to pick a name. And whoever's name we pick wins. Listen, neighbors, if you have the default setting um, on YouTube that hides your, prescrip subscri your prescriptions, <laughs> that hides your subscriptions, uh, you're going to have to turn that off and <laughs> at least find a way for my channel. Or you will have to let me know you've subscribed because I cannot see that you've subscribed. YouTube will tell me if you change that setting. But if you do not, I do not know. And so we will have to verify that you're a subscriber when you win. We'll also have to verify that you follow steps two and steps three in the first video, which is the link pinned as the comment down below. And it's also in the description that says first video of giveaway. Okay, neighbors, it's that simple. All right. So essentially, <clears throat> this is going to be the diagnostics. And by diagnostics, I already know the saw runs. I've been able to get the saw to tune in fairly well. Uh, I know the saw does not have a kill switch. Um, I've not cut wood with the saw. So we're still going to perform a vacuum pressure test uh, because we want to know if the saw has an air leak or not. And once I get in there, I will make a decision if I'm going to completely remove the cylinder or I just want to put a camera inside of it. I have to look up the IPL, which I will do after this video, because guess what, neighbors? I'm shooting on my phone right now and I can't look it up because I'm out in the shed shop. And I can't stop recording because I have not set up to merge videos yet because my internet is terrible. My laptop is terrible. My desktop is terrible. Uh, I'm not a rich guy, but I chose to do this uh, because it helps me stay sober. And also, it is essentially um, a way that I can bring income. Uh, I'm working hard physically right now so that I don't have to work as hard physically later. I want to become self-sufficient and grow my own food and other things. And the, the land that I'm on that, that requires uh, a quite extensive equipment for a disabled guy. Um, also, my dilapidated moldy trailer is falling apart. And so my hope is to monetize this channel at some point. But it will, it will not be done in the way your standard YouTube is, at least for me. I'm a personable guy. And some of the YouTube channels that I have watched in the past, I notice they never even like any comments or heart any of their comments. Uh, but they say in their videos that they read all the comments 
And my thought is, I have timed it. I can respond even with all my terrible internet and my slow everything. I can respond to 10 comments in one minute. Respond, that's like, heart, and respond to 10 comments in one minute. And so my thing is, if you're not commenting on any, or if you're hearting uh, certain comments that I'm like, boy, that is a question and all you did was heart it. Don't bother putting a heart or a like and deceiving somebody that you're paying attention and you care about their comment on your channel if you're not actually reading it. Don't say you're reading it if you're not. I don't like deception. I don't like lies. And so this channel will be a little bit different. Uh, we have a vast array of things on this channel. And so if you're still watching this video, that's great. It's fantastic. And if you're trying to win a chainsaw, hey, you know the deal. You can fast forward. I'll try to put the time that the chainsaw is uh, in the videos, but I won't do it in this one because it's a giveaway video. And so you have to listen to me babble a little bit. So that's part of it too. I'm giving you free chit so you'll listen to me talk. And you'll listen to me share some burdens. You'll listen to me share some testimonies. You'll hear me say, God damn it, while I praise Jesus Christ and adore him as the king of the universe, the Messiah, the risen one, the redeemer, and the soon coming king that's going to burn it all down. All while I question if he exists, acknowledge that he exists, wonder if he exists, curse him. Repent, lament, confess, and rebuke the fucking church for why I feel this way. And if we're just stardust, that's cool. Fine, neighbors, I still want to love you. My whole thing is that the people that profess the Bible do not live what the Bible says. That includes me. But I have always said, uh, essentially, Something quite different than what most people say when I talk, etc., etc. Uh, I have a very analytical mind. And for me to explain one thing to you, if you ask me a question, ask neighbor Kyle. I know he'll probably watch this. Okay. Uh, sorry, neighbors. I'll tell you that story a little bit more one day. Uh, I've got a bunch of footage to bring right now for you about neighbor Kyle and his saw that's over here. Here's your saw, neighbor Kyle. We changed the coil on it. Okay. You haven't gotten the short yet, or maybe you have. Who knows? Because the chip might take a while to get to the internet because I'm no longer going to rush loading footage and not editing it properly because I have to keep redoing it because the internet freezes and I have to start from step one. Anyways, back to it, neighbors. <sighs> Bear with me. Let me get my thought back. Church. Why did Kyle come up? <sighs> Praise Jesus Christ. Question if he exists. Blah, 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 blah. Church. Doing us dirty. Your church is doing us dirty. I'm trying to remember neighbors, but this is me and I might not edit this out because this is part of my struggle. I had a brain injury. You know what? I won't edit it out. I had a brain injury when I got run over. Plus, I did drugs for a long time and that messed up my brain. Uh, I, I, I've i never had perfect memory recollection, but it used to be fairly good. Okay. Now it is not. Uh, I used to be able to do math after much, 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 much practice, years of study, uh, do decent numbered math in my head. Uh, without doing the finger thing, etc., etc., But unfortunately, my brain is not what it used to be. And so you will hear me ramble sometimes. You will hear me lose my thoughts sometimes. And I can usually get it back, but not always. Most of the time, but not always. Okay. And so essentially, uh, let, let's try and transition from uh, I was telling you about the things that are on the channel and started telling you one of those things is I have some videos that are rebuking the church. Uh, I have some videos that are rebuking me. I have videos called I Did Your Dirties. I have videos called Confessions at the Parts Washer. And there will be one on this saw because we're going to continue to practice this process that I want to sell as a package at my shop, uh, the redemption package, okay, uh, as, as an option. And it's a process that we take your chainsaw through here at the shed shop. Uh, you've seen some of my saws go through it. Some of my neighbor's saws go through it. Okay, it hasn't been perfect, but I want to continue to practice it. And so with this giveaway, we're going to continue to do that. And also that allows more videos so that you can get more entries and so that you have better chances of winning. And I, I know the pool is not huge right now. I think right now, as I shoot this video, I think we're probably up to about 12 people with a total of 20 entries, I think, roughly. That's just a wild guess envisioning my notepad in my head. So basically... uh. 
Again, neighbors, those are the different things that are on the channel. Um, and that that is that is what it's going to continue to be. I put out shorts and, and regular videos direct for my neighbors, my customer neighbors, and I will continue to do that. Monetized or not, I will continue to do that because, as I said, I might not be a people person, but I'm a very personable guy. I care about people. I care about their challenges. I care about their struggles. I care about their stories. And by stories, I don't mean stupid stories. I mean their stories of their life. Uh, who, what has made them who they are? What are their challenges? I think all too much we've become impersonal. Impersonal. And we have um, lost touch with one another as human beings. Um, we, we kind of just are in, in, it's almost like robotic mode. We're all in autopilot just going about our own lives. And though there's occasional acts of kindness, uh, we see fake acts of kindness all over the internet just to get views and clicks. And, and it's all staged. Uh, a lot of it is staged. I'm not going to say all, but a lot of it is staged, unfortunately. Um, you won't see none of that here. If, if I ever did shoot a video of me giving somebody money in public, I'm actually giving them damn money. Uh, and, and I don't put it on video when I do stuff like that. Because why? Well, maybe. Maybe because if you're professing Jesus... He says, do not let your left hand know what your right hand does. When you give, give in secret. Not like the Pharisees who give openly and boast about it. He says to give in secret so that your father in heaven may see you in secret and open you. And I'm sorry, reward you openly. Okay, so it could be that. But it's also uh, for me, it's like, yeah, it's good to see little things like that. But that kind of in, in my my mind. I want to talk to the person. Why am I giving them money? I don't typically give money away. Okay? I give things. I find out what they need. Clothes, shelter, whatever. That's what you should ask. Don't just give a homeless person money. Ask them what their needs are. Okay? <laughs> That's it. Uh, and so, essentially, uh, we're going to stay personal with the channel. And with that, neighbors, it's been 12 minutes. You've listened to me ramble long enough. I'll do the best I can to edit this intro into something simple. Okay? And I'm going to turn you down to the bench. We're going to tear this all down just a little bit. Get it to a point that we can vacuum pressure test it. Okay. We'll do that part. And then essentially the rest of the disassembly I'll either do in a second video or I will do it off camera. And then I will do a short or like a three minute video about the rest of the disassembly and how it went, etc. So I'm not 100% exactly what videos I'll be taking for the giveaway saw. But that's the part. The videos, sometimes they have to break at different points in the process than I might like them to. But we'll see how far we get, okay? So let's get to work, damn it. I'm going to turn you down to the bench, neighbors. Okay, so this is a giveaway video. So guess what, neighbors? I don't know if it's going to be educational. I don't know if it's going to be uh, jabbering. I don't know if it's going to be giving more chit away. I got some t-shirts I want to give away. And uh, I might do that in one of the videos. Okay, I got some other prizes that have been unclaimed, and I said 30 days, and I think some, some prizes are going to be able to be given away again, okay? Um, but we'll see what happens. But basically, since it's a giveaway, and it's my channel, our channel, but uh, <laughs> I'm the one that has to shoot the video, we'll see how it goes. Uh, basically, this is a Husqvarna, so it's T25s, and uh, I might start getting mixed up and calling my damn T27s on my steels T25s again. Um, because I use T25s a lot in construction. And so we got three T25s for our top cover. Now remember guys, this chainsaw does run and it did start. Okay. Uh, it looks pretty clean. Um, so neighbors, uh, Derek and Chris, this, this saw does look clean. They did. It does look like they've actually pretty much redone everything. I'm kind of shocked. No kill switch. We've got some wetness back here. I got to figure out what that is. Okay, the fuel lines looks new, but I don't know if they've replaced the grommets. Uh, where did you just fall out of? The kill switch, probably. Yep, yeah, must have went in there. Okay. Ah, it's broken. That's why. Okay, so we're going to need this part. Uh, I don't know that I can fix that. Okay, it's, it's broken. Well, we probably could plastic weld it. Okay, unscrew it and plastic weld it, but I don't know that it would hold. We'll see. Okay, I might have to get that part. We'll see how expensive it is, neighbors. But, okay, so that might be the largest thing 
that made these boys not sell this saw to somebody else. Because it has no kill switch. I just thought the saw kind of looked awfully dirty. But they may have been cutting with it. They said it just needs tuned in. Um, and I did get it kind of to tune in. But nonetheless, neighbors, if we pull it down and it looks like base gasket and everything's been done. I mean, the saw looks, the cylinder looks decently clean. Not as clean as I do stuff, but I'm kind of OCD on the cleaning sometimes. So, oh, we got broken fins, neighbors. Whoever owns this saw, damn, I'm not putting a new top end on this, neighbors. Uh, not unless the inside's bad. Chet, look at that. It's free. Hope you don't mind. They did us dirty. Look, we got broken fins, damn it. Uh, I don't think on a small saw like this, boy, Josh, you'll have to keep that in mind if you win, neighbor, because you'll be cutting with this saw more than a homeowner would, okay? So if you win, Josh, pay attention, Josh Sweet. Uh, we'll have to make sure you keep a real close eye on the heat of your saw. It's not that many missing, but it's still, it still can impact the heat of the saw. I don't know, because it could be months and months and months and months before I can get a meteor top end for this if they make one. We'll see what it is, neighbors. We'll keep going. Okay. Kind of dirty. There's our clutch cover. All right. Here is your brand new Carlton chain. I was going to cut with this saw, but I just ain't had time. And it's been raining a lot. And I know you neighbors want me to start the giveaway. So I said, screw it. We'll just go with it. And we'll just start it. Even though I wasn't 100% ready. I want my neighbors to have their saw. All right. So there's that. That's our barn chain. 18 inch. Again, the handle says an 18-inch bar chain for this right here. Okay, neighbors. Let me make sure you can see. Okay. So, uh, next, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull my muffler, which is interesting. It's just one bolt, and it looks like maybe a 9 sixteenths or a half inch. Oh, no, definitely not that small. I'm sorry. Or that large, I meant. It's going to be more like a, a damn 7 sixteenths, maybe even smaller, 3 eighths, maybe. Let me see here. Now, as I say that, it's probably going to be damn metric. Probably 10 mil. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we'll get that off, damn it. I got neighbor Eric's clutch cover sitting over here in JB Will. Then I'll set it up just right, neighbors. Would you like to see it real quick? Let's sidetrack. Let's walk over here, neighbors, okay? Let's look at this. Here we go. Here's what I did with my redneck ingenuity. I had a crack here, okay? But it was it was like this. And it, it's it's very dangerous to, to try. I bent it the best I could, but it could break, okay? It could snap off. And so uh, instead of trying to bend it anymore, I have screwed down just the right tension here. I have cut me a block to hold the tension up here. And I have clamped this side down so that that seam stays perfect. We'll leave that an entire 24 hours, and then we'll finish sanding this, and we'll paint it, neighbors, okay? Let's go back to the bench, okay? Here we go. You guys can have a seat right there. You can sit up on a bench like a little kid would if I had a child here. All right, so let's get this damn muffler off. Damn it, the bugs. Neighbors are trying to kill me. No, I don't think this is a damn 10 mil. Chet. Get this damn wrench. This is a 10 mil. This is a weird muffler uh, bolt. Seems odd. I don't know, boys. Is this the muffler bolt that comes on this 240? I don't know a ton about this saw. It is not a 10 mil, though. Damn it. Let's try a damn 3 ace. Chit. That seems like it could fit, but not quite. Damn it. No, that doesn't fit. Damn, what size bolt is this? It's weird. Boys did me dirty. I uh, don't know, neighbors. It's not a 10, and it's not a 3 ace, so it's not going to be a 9. It's not going to be an 11. It's not going to be a 7 16 Uh. So... Problem is, how the hell 
am I going to get this damn bolt off? I'm going to have to tap this damn 3 8 on there. I think the problem... Oh, shit! <laughs> we're, uh, we're struggling here, damn it, neighbors! On a giveaway video! That's okay, I'm messy. Welcome to the shed shop, damn it. I'm the chainsaw redeemer, I'm messy. That's great. What do you care? Oh, neighbors, I cannot get to that. I just, uh... I don't know what else damn size it could be. Let's see. Let me get a 6.3 ace. See if that'll help. Not even that will go on. I'll be damned. That's odd. So the 10 mil don't fit. The 9 mil don't fit. The 11 mil don't fit. 5 sixteenths definitely ain't gonna fit. 3 eighths don't fit. And 7 sixteenths is obviously too big. Well, hell, neighbors. I don't know. I definitely certainly won't be putting this bolt back on. Uh, we will have to find something better. I cannot get any socket on it at all. That's perplexing. Okay, well... Let's see if we can get... I just can't get nothing on there. This is so discouraging. This is what I go through all day, every day, guys, here. All day, every day, this kind of stupid, silly bullshit that is so astronomically unlikely. That's why I get frustrated. That's why I get discouraged. It's so fucking silly. It really is. Like today, I couldn't even find a fucking a six point uh, three quarter deep socket. And I've got 5,000 sockets. God damn it. So perplexing. <sighs> what I'm trying to do is see why my socket is not going on. I cannot even get it to go on a little bit. This is crazy. It's on there, but it does not want to take the damn thing off. It just wants to strip. Yeah, it just won't even lock on there. It's insane. There we go, neighbors. It's coming loose. It's turning on the face of it. Well, I'm definitely 100% not putting that nut back on there. That that was ridiculous. I think it is supposed to be a 10 mil or a 3 ace. But I don't know that that's the original. Uh, we will put something better on there for you, whoever wins. Okay, don't worry. I will not put this garbage back on. Okay, we're going to have to find something different. Okay, I will be cleaning and leaving your spark arrestor screen in. Uh, you decide what you want to do about that. If you do not know what a spark arrestor is, you can ask me why I said that. You can decide whether you want to. I'll tell you damn what. I'm going to need a flashlight. Whether you want to keep the spark arrestor or not, that will be up to you, Joshua, if you win. And other neighbors. Okay, it is a T25. Got my T25 right here. Oh, actually, it feels like a T27. I'll be damned. Okay, that's fine. Got my T27 right here. It is. It is a T27. This muffler looks like this saw has been very rich. 
extremely rich and that would make sense because I think I recollect leaning it out quite a bit. Uh, my question always is when a tinkerer tells me somebody that brings me a whole heaping pile of junk uh, that something in their pile is almost ready and it just needs tuned why didn't they tune it? That's my question. If you work on saws that much Derek and Chris but I also know the answer to my question could be, well, <laughs> we just get busy. I know how, how many saws I've got right now. <laughs> how many 017s and 170s I've got that I just need to tune them so I can actually <laughs> cut with them and sell them. <laughs> uh, so I know how that goes. So we don't know. That's why we are doing a full diagnostics. Okay, so essentially, we've got our muffler out. And we've already got a mess, neighbors. I've got to get reorganized here. I always try to tell you, damn it, class, stay organized, okay? It's a lot less stressful in your life if you do. Okay, there's all that. I've got my little organizer here for us. Here's our muffler gasket, okay? Let's go ahead and put some of our hardware in here. We don't have much. All right. Now that we've got the mess out of the way, let's move on, class. Next, what we want to do is we've got to get this heaping mess off. Now... Essentially, I also want to go ahead and take this damn handle off because it is a super pain in the arse. And so I'll show you how to do that, damn it. Okay, listen, we're going to take our T25s out here. I believe there are T25s on this saw. Yep. That disconnects your handle there, okay? And then you've got to flip it over. You're going to have another one right here. Whoops. Okay, and then you're going to have another one right here, which is the weirdest spot. This handle is so weird. All right. And then uh, there is the final thing, which is your throttle lever. All right. Now, the uh, if I recollect, darn it, I'm trying to remember. I do believe this one, I thought, can unhook. It does. You can unhook it right in there. Just be careful, okay? I thought you could turn it and pivot it off. No, you cannot. I think you can, but I think you would damage it. So, essentially, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, let's see. I don't even see. I thought I could. I thought you could. Maybe I recollected wrong neighbors. Damn. Did myself dirty. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought wrong apparently though. So, shoot. All right. Well, nonetheless, we'll take this long ass screw out. Uh-oh. This was to our kill switch. We'll take this long ass screw out. Uh, this isn't the long one. Sorry. Damn, neighbor's doing you dirty. Lying to you. I really thought you could uh, just unhook that like that. Okay, that will remove our air filter, uh, I recollect, so that we can get to our long ass screws. Okay, uh, and that is part of why you want to loosen your handle if you're working on this. It is much easier to get to some biscuits if you move that. Okay, this is a T20. I forgot, damn it. I had the T20 out. I think I put it back away. I did not. It's not in there. Okay, neighbors. See? Chainsaw Redeemer is a mess. Okay? Uh, T20, 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 T20. Well, check, neighbors. Here it is. I did put it back away. This is the long screw. Damn it. Okay. And it's much easier to get to with your handle out of your way. Ah, I thought one of these screws was long as hell. Yeah, there it is. See? Okay. Now. 
that should, I thought, allow for with me neighbors I'm not familiar with this model as I said I don't know a ton about it okay I thought it just um pivoted right up I see it's mounted there bolted there I wonder if we can they're not rubber that's the problem Oh, that's right. There is. I remember now, neighbors. Shit. Okay. We got to take this T20 out over here. Damn it. I haven't worked on one of these in forever. I've only done one of them ever. And I didn't do it all the way. Oh. That's the chainsaw redeemer's life. All my bolts go flying. Okay. That's our little shroud cover. All right. Now. Now we can get to these two bolts back here, which I believe are, uh, damn it, I believe they're 8 mils. starting to wonder I don't I don't know what kind of base gasket this has I'd like to know I really thought I suppose you know it might have been easier just to remove that chip whoops that's not correct Yeah, Husforner doesn't give it too easy on this one. Damn. You make this all hard. Okay. That's just easier for me. Simple as that. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead real quick, neighbors, and I'm going to label some stuff and, and put it away. You can talk while I do that. Okay, now that we got that done, we should be able to. Okay, maybe not. Damn, they really make this all hard. Doing me dirty, Husqvarna. I was looking at the sprocket. Uh, these boys did me dirty on the sprocket. The sprocket needs replaced on this thing. I, I would not reuse it. Okay, well, neighbors, the problem is I don't see what is still holding us on. Okay, it might just be, it might just be the tension, suction, whatever, but it's plastic, so shouldn't be. Uh, it might just be stuck on the threads too. But the thing is, I have to take my time because I don't want to break your saw, even though this part is already broken, technically. None of this saw wants to come off. Yeah, it's it's stuck, neighbors. Damn. It should come off. This black cover should just come off now. I don't understand what's holding it. Okay, this is when we got to sit down. Like I said, this is why I hate working on these. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Let me get this out of my way. Or not. Wow, the way they hooked that in there too is just a nightmare. Okay, let's see. What is holding you on? 
Mm. I just don't see neighbors. I, I really don't. I think it's just stuck on the screws. But that's a lot. Yeah, I think it's just stuck. I just got to pry it harder. That's all. And just don't break anything else. If this breaks, it breaks. But the problem is I can't get a good pry point down by the screw on this side. Especially when that damn throttle or that choke lever does that shit. Damn. That's on there, boys. Wow. Ugh. It is just caught to hell on the threads, I think. You see? That's all it is. It's just the plastic is caught on our threads. That's it. Literally. That sucks. See, but this is my life, guys. This is the kind of luck that Chainsaw Redeemer has. But he's putting it on the internet for you to see. In case you feel like you're the only one with the worst kind of luck the world could possibly offer. Okay, and I don't necessarily believe in luck. If I believe in Jesus, but... Some days I don't know if I believe in Jesus because stuff like this happens. Woo! There is that. Neighbors, damn. Okay, now, essentially, uh, this intake boot setup is a little weird. Okay, so I want to get my throttle lever off so I don't lose it. Uh, get my choke lever out so I don't lose it, I thought. Okay. Uh, there is a gasket in there. We will replace that. I already have one. I don't know what kind of base gasket this has. I'm wondering if it's got the rubber base gaskets or Permatex. Because the thing is, oh. I'm looking at our piston. And it looks scored. Our piston looks scored, neighbors. But not to fret because, oh no. I don't have a 240 piston. Chit. I thought I did. No, damn it. I can tell you what I see, neighbors. I 100% have to take the saw apart all the way now. We're not even doing a vacuum pressure test, okay? Uh... Although that would that would help us determine if that is scoring, if an air leak caused it. Um, but at this point, let's see. We're just not going to call this diagnostics anymore. This is going to be the teardown part one. Uh, we'll call it the diagnostics two, the teardown part one, the diagnostics. Um, and I think with that, uh, I will stop here. Uh, I'm going to take a breather, and then I will go ahead and turn right around from here. Even though it will not be for you, I will turn right around, and I will do part two of the teardown, okay? And I will try to put these videos out about one week apart, uh, maybe a half a week apart. We'll see how fast the saw goes, because if, if I need a piston or something, it might be a while on the saw. I'm so sorry, neighbors, but that's the way it goes. It's a free chainsaw. Uh, be patient. And we're at 200 and... Uh, we're over 200 subscribers, neighbors. I think 209 subscribers. And at 250 subscribers, I will have another chainsaw giveaway uh, that I've mentioned to you before. Uh, and so if you haven't seen about that one, guess what? This is one of the videos. All you got to do is like and comment on to qualify as one of my first 250 subscribers uh, for the Steel 017 or MS170 that I will be giving away. Uh, and I will start that giveaway once we hit 250 subscribers. If you are active on my channel in any type of way, if you've liked any videos, if you've commented on any videos, and you are one of the first 250 subscribers, you are automatically entered to win that chainsaw. And that one, again, will be free, and it will be free shipping to the lower 48. Anybody else will have to pay their shipping and customs if they want to win a chainsaw. But on these little chainsaws, it might not be worth it. So... That is going to be it, neighbors. Follow the instructions again in the description down below. is going to be uh, the link to the first video uh, that start the giveaway. It's called I Did You Dirty Husqvarna. It's, I'm sorry. It's called Husqvarna Chainsaw Giveaway Confessions at the Parts Washer, I believe. Damn it. I've got to verify that fact. Uh, 
And then the second video link will be to the instructions video, which will tell you how you gain more entries. So until next time, neighbors, be kind to one another. Everyone's facing a battle. This has been Everything Comes to a Scratching Halt because you've caught a potentially scored piston. I love all 8 billion of you, neighbors. Damn it.